Hi hey guys, how are you doing? I hope you're having a wonderful day. So I'm sitting here in my GT350. I just picked a uh, parking lot by school on my way to do a short video. I was at a car show with the car and it actually got a lot of a lot of people interested in it. A lot of people looked at it. And strangely enough, I think there were more people interested in it looking at it this time than when it was brand new. So this is 2017 GT350, which I bought new back then. And it has 14,000 miles right now. If you follow my channel, you can see a lot of information on this car. So someone asked me, if uh, it's more exciting to drive the GT350 uh, or a Tesla, because Teslas are pretty fast, and of course um, that the, the GT350 is more exciting because of the sound. Um, the Tesla, of course, you know, you just put the pedal down and it goes as fast as it can from zero to 60, which is pretty fast, uh, it pushes you in the seat. Now the GT350, you have to shift by yourself so it depends a little bit on your skills on how fast you um, shift also 530 horsepower on the rear wheels so you got to be a little careful you don't want to be one of those Mustang drivers that steers right into the ditch so that would not be good um, yeah the GT350 any day is more exciting to drive you know the sound everything is just uh, cool I don't want to rev it too much here there are people living here um, now also I thought about possible upgrades or mods on the car you know actually this is kind of a I think it will be a collector's car one time uh, because it's a Shelby and they were limited. They only build them for a couple of years, many years you could say, but uh, I call it a couple of years. You have a chassis number that's uh, numbered, so hand built, signed engine. So I don't want to do too many mods. You know, the mods that I did on the lights, I'll show a picture in here right now that is okay because i have the original light still in my possession i could put them in any time um and that i haven't really modified anything on it so one thing i want to do is i want to tint the side windows here darker see the tint now this is the windshield this is the side window then we have this little window here then we have that there are three different tints the rear window is the darkest which is not really dark either but um, the law back then that did that didn't allow too dark on the side windows. But now the law changed here in Utah and you can do a little bit darker on the side. So I'll definitely do that, have someone take this out and uh, retint the sides. The rear is a pain to do and I think I'll just deal with this one right now. And it's not super dark, but it's darker than the other one. So it's fine for me. I'll just leave that. The upgrades in the interior, I don't want to modify it really cheesy with some, some put on um, um, carbon fiber, put it on top. No, no, no. If I found the original dash in carbon fiber, take this out, put the original in, like they offered it for the GT350 only a couple years, I would buy that, but it's really hard to find. So this here, hot plastic, I don't like that. And I knew there was a guy that sold Alcantara for this and you had to send yours in. He put Alcantara on it and send it back or send you a different one. I don't know, that would be an option I would truly enjoy. Also, this here is plat um, platter, <laughs> plastic leather. It's, um, it's plastic and it looks like leather, but it's not, it doesn't even really look like leather. So if I had that in Alcantara or something else, that would make the car look nicer too. The seats I like, you know, with the white stitching, uh, pretty cool and it says GT350 on them as well um really like the seats so i won't do much i maybe do some alcantara in the interior since i already have alcantara on the steering wheel that comes stuck uh may do that i may uh tint the windows and the rest it stays the way it is have you ever seen that this is real metal and see the color it's not chrome it's a little bit more bronze dark which is a real cool touch different than the normal mustangs and also this ring here is the same so just a, just a little thing that's different uh from the um, normal uh mustang gts that you see around i really wish this was alcantara too wouldn't that be an upgrade but then again the headliner is black and it doesn't feel 
cheap so that's good anyways guys just a little update it's a hot day here i'm not gonna go outside right now i'm gonna drive home um just some thoughts i had and i wanted to share them and if you want to share my video please do that so yeah there you have it just a short video it is uh wednesday 10 45 and i hope you enjoyed this video and have a wonderful day i'll see you soon see you soon on this channel be good and um, enjoy